Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to our colour along in Lulu Mayo's book. So we're going to carry on with this picture today and we're going to continue to use the Castle Art pencils. So I'll go ahead and zoom you in and we'll get started. So the first colour I'm going to go in with is Rose Pink 034 and I'm going to make a start on these little rainbows here. So I'm going to do the first one pink. So I'm going to go ahead and add this colour in. And I'm just going to use normal pressure for this and just fill this in. Then taking cobalt purple 088, I'm going to fill in the next section of the rainbow. And again, I'm just going to fill this in completely. And I'll apologise if you can hear any noise in the background. I've got the doors open and people are out in their gardens today. <laughs> it's nice weather, so everyone's making the most of uh, mowing the lawns. Next, taking lemon yellow 005, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the last part of this rainbow. And then I'm going to use lemon yellow to fill in the first section of this rainbow. Then rose pink for the middle section. And cobalt purple 088 for the last one. Next, taking Cobalt Turquoise Green 101, I'm going to make a start on her wings. So what I want to do is add some colour to them so that when we go over them with the white Posca pen, we'll be able to see the um, wings a little bit more clearly. So I think I'm just going to use light pressure with this colour and just add a little bit of colour to these. Next, going in with cobalt blue light, we're going to make a start on this big cloud here. So I'm going to go ahead and randomly add some of this colour in. So I think we'll do some up this edge here. We'll add a little bit to the top. And then we'll add some down here. Then taking cobalt blue, which is our darker colour, I'm going to use light pressure, but add some of this colour in as well. Then back in with cobalt blue light, and we'll go ahead and add a bit more pressure and darken up where we did this colour originally. And I'm taking it over the dark blue as well, so that when we come to blend out, it should blend out a little bit easier. Then going back in with cobalt blue, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of the cloud. Thank you. 
Next, going in with Cadmium Orange Light 074, I'm going to make a start on this little character here. So I'm going to go ahead and do a light base coat of this colour on the skin. Then going in with Yellow Orca 077, we'll add some shade to this. So I'm going to shade the top of her leg here and down the right hand side. We'll add a little bit of shade to her hand where it meets the dress. And again, we'll add some shade along here where her face meets the dress. We'll give her some shade from her hat. Then going in with Naples Yellow Light, I'm going to go ahead and blend this all together. So I'm just using normal pressure and just going over everything that we've just done. We'll use some azalea pink to add in some little cheeks. And a little bit on the nose and mouth. Then going back in with Cobalt Turquoise Green 101, I'm going to go ahead and do a base coat on her little dress. And also on her hat, I'm going to avoid the spots. Then going in with Teal Green 105, we're going to add some shadow to this. So I'm going to darken up under here because this would be darker right up against her face. And just leave the lighter patch there. Again, we'll add some shadow from this line here. And then just lift the pressure so that we can blend that out a little bit easier. We'll add some shadow under her arm and just down this edge of the dress and along the bottom line and then again I'm just going to lift the pressure to blend that out a little bit easier for her hat I'm going to darken up this side so I'm going to do normal pressure here and darken this up and then I'm going to start to lift the pressure there so that it blends out nicely We'll darken up this side of the hat as well, because I think this bit would be a little bit darker. And then I'm just going to lift the pressure here to blend that out. And we'll just add a little bit of shade there. And again, lift the pressure to blend that out. I'm going to go back in with 101 and I'm just going to use really light pressure and just add a little bit more colour to this. Then going in with our white pencil, I'm going to go ahead and blend this all together. So I'm just going to take it over where we've left the lighter shades. Just make sure that there's no sort of texture left on the paper and that it all blends together nicely. Taking rose pink, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the dots on the hat. So I'm just going to use normal pressure for this and just fill these in. So next I'm going to go in with Naples Yellow Light 073 and I'm going to go ahead and fill in these stars and the shooting star with this.
Then going in with warm grey light, I'm going to add some shadow to these. So again, I'm going to go around the edges of the stars and just darken them up ever so slightly. And then I'll just add a bit of shade from the star and follow the line along. Go ahead and do the same for this one. For these ones, I'm just going to add a little bit of shade to the right hand side. This big one, I'm going to shade all the way around the edges. And we'll give some shadow from the star. And again, just take it along the right hand side. Then taking Castle Green Light, we're going to make a start on this little planet here. So I want this orbit around it to be green. So I'm going to go in with Castle Green Light as our lightest shade and go ahead and do a base coat on this. So I'm just using light pressure and I'm just going to go ahead and fill this in. Then taking Castle Green 058, we're going to add some shade to this. So what I want to do is darken up these little bits here where it comes sort of behind the planet. So I'm just using normal pressure here and just filling these in. And then I'm going to bring it along the right hand side and just sort of follow this little line that's been drawn in. We'll do the same for this side. And then I'm going to add a little bit of shade just right up this edge along the bottom. And then I'm going to leave that gap in the middle. I'm going to go back in with Castle Green Light and just go ahead and blend this together. So I'm going to take it over where we added the darker green and I'm going to stop where we left the darker green. So I'm going to leave it there so that this patch in the middle is the really lightest part and that the edges are a little bit darker. Next, going in with primary blue, I'm going to make a start on filling in these lines within the planet. So what I want to do is leave like a highlight in the middle like we've done on the edge bit. So I'm going to go ahead and just use light pressure first so I can get an idea of where we want to leave the light. So I think we'll take it to about there. So what I'm going to do now is just darken up the edges and lift the pressure as you come towards the lighter patch. We'll do the same for this side. actually going to bring it in a little bit more so we'll just add a little bit more light pressure there just so we've got like a little tiny light catching bit in the middle then I'm going to go in with intense blue 097 and I'm going to do the same for this line here so again I'll go in with light pressure and take it right up to where we did the line below and then using more pressure I'm going to darken this up and again lift the pressure as you come towards the middle. So we'll do the same for this line here, so we'll carry on using intense blue. Darken up the edges. Then I'll swap back to primary blue and we'll do the top one. And then darken up the edges. Then 
this one's going to be primary blue as well so we'll go in with light pressure and mark out our highlight and then darken up the edges and then this bottom one we'll do the same and then the last one we'll use intense blue we'll go ahead and add this one in then going back in with our white pencil we're going to go ahead and go over the blend line so I'm going to do the lighter colour first okay next we're going to move on to this dragon here and I want him to be pink so I'm going to go in with rose pink 034 and go ahead and do a base coat on him and then we'll add in some shade to him as well. Then using cherry pink, we're going to add some shade. So I'm going to start on his wings. So what I want to do is darken up where his little wings have got these join lines in. So I'm just using normal pressure and just running the pencil along both edges of this line. And we'll do the same for this one. I'm going to add some shade here where his wing joins onto his body and then I'm just going to lift the pressure to blend that out. I'll do the same for this one so we'll add some shade here and then all along the bottom edge of this wing because this would be in shadow from the wing in front and then again I'm just going to lift the pressure to blend this out and I think we'll add some shade along this bottom edge here as well And then again, just lift the pressure and blend this out. I'll add some shade here from his little ear. And then we'll give him some shade down this side of his body. And just lift the pressure again to blend this out. Then I'm going to go back in with rose pink and make a start on blending this all out. So I'm just going to go over with normal pressure where we added the darkest colours. And just make sure that's all blended in together nicely. And then I'm just going to lift the pressure for this middle section. And then go in with the white and just go over where we left the lighter pressure, just so that he's got a nice light bit in the middle. So I'm going to go back in with rose pink again and carry on going over the shadows that we've added, just using normal pressure. For this one, I'm going to fill this in right up to there because that would cast a bit of a shadow. 
then I'll just use light pressure to add a little bit more pink to this top section. Here I'm going to start to lift the pressure, add a bit more colour. Then we'll go back in with our white pencil, go ahead and go over the highlight that we left here, and the little highlight up here. Okay, so back in with rose pink, and I'm going to do the same for this wing, but apart from, I'm just going to fill this one in completely, because this one is further back, so it would be darker and wouldn't necessarily have as much light on there. So I'm just going to use normal pressure and fill this all in. And then sticking with rose pink, I'm going to again go over where we added the shade colour. And then I'm going to bring this out. So I'm still using normal pressure here. Go over the shade here by the ear and bring that down. Add some down here. And then I'm just going to start to lift the pressure here. And again, here, less pressure. Just add a little bit more colour. Then going back in with our white, I'm going to go over this top bit here. So he's got a nice light bit on the top of his head. And then here where we left the lighter pressure, I'm just going to go over this with the white. That's one of our little dragons done. So now we'll move on to this one and I think we'll do this one purple. So I'm going to go in with lavender 036 and do our base coat on this little dragon. So again, I'm just going to use light pressure and go ahead and add this colour all over him. Then taking Heather Purple 037, we're going to add some shade into him. So I think we'll add some shade down here from the clouds. So I'm just going to use normal pressure and go ahead and mark out this shadow from the cloud. And again on this side. Give him some shade under his ear and then I'm going to bring this all the way down his back to about underneath his wings. Now I'm just going to lift the pressure off so it's going to be easier to blend. And for his wings, I'm going to add some darker shade here where it meets his body. And then lift the pressure off to blend that out. Again, I'm going to add the darkness around the little joins in his wings. So I'll just use normal pressure and go over both sides of these. I'm going to give him some shade along the edge of this wing. 
because that one would cast a shadow and then I'm just going to lift the pressure to blend that out and we'll do the same for these lines just lift the pressure to blend it out Then going back in with Lavender 036, I'm going to go ahead and go over the shading that we've done and then bring the colour into the lighter colour that we left. So this back wing, I'm just going to fill in completely. This bottom one down here, I'm also going to fill in completely. And then these ones, I'm going to go over where we added the darker shade. And then I'm going to lift the pressure and just add a little bit more colour like we did for the pink ones. Then going back in with our white pencil, I'm going to go ahead and go over where we've left the highlight and blend this all together. So going back in with lavender, I'm just gonna start to lift the pressure here and blend this line out a little bit better. So I'm just using lighter pressure here and then I'm just going to add a little bit more colour all over him. Then I'm going to go back in with the white. Okay guys, so that's how our little dragons are looking so far. So next, going in with Davy's Grey 067, we're going to make a start on these mountains behind them. So what I'm going to do is add this colour to the bottom sections here. So I don't want to use it on this bit because this bit's going to be like snow on the top. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this colour on. And I'm not using hard pressure because I don't want it to be too dark. Next, taking Cool Grey 065, we're going to add the shade into these. 
So I'm going to go ahead and darken up under here because this would be a little bit darker from the um, shadow of the dragon. Then I'm going to add some here just behind the dragon and then just lift the pressure off to blend it up. Do the same along this edge. Okay, for this big one, I'm going to add some shade here where the dragon is. And then I'm going to lift the pressure to blend that up. We'll do the same for this bottom bit. So we'll add some darker pressure at the bottom here and then lift the pressure as it comes up. Do a little bit of shade from this dragon as well. And then again here. We'll add some along this edge. Under here would all be darker, so I'm going to darken this up. And then we'll darken up under the wing and a bit at the bottom. For this one, I'm just going to go around the edges, so where the snow is, just so it looks like the snow's cast in a bit more of a shadow. Then going in with cobalt blue light, this is going to act as a bit of our snow. So I'm just going to use really light pressure and just add a little bit of a blue tint onto the snow. I'm going to go in with Cobalt Turquoise Green 101 and I'm going to fill in the top one of the rainbow. So I'm just using normal pressure and then I'm going to lift the pressure here and leave a little highlight in the middle. And then go ahead and darken up the edges. Then taking lemon yellow, I'm going to fill in the next section and do the same again. Leave a little gap for the highlight. Then taking Bengal rose, I'm going to do the same for the last one. Then going back in with our white pencil, I'm going to go ahead and blend in the highlight line. Okay guys, so this is how it's looking so far. So I think I'm going to leave this video here and we will continue this one on Sunday. So I hope you enjoyed this and if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.